let's make some soup. I'm going to use some dill, dill weed, baking powder, parsley flakes. This is some uh, chicken broth that is defrosting, some cream, milk, flour, butter, bay leaf, a little bit of celery, potatoes, some onion, and eggs, and let's get started. Let's start off with three tablespoons, three tablespoons of butter. I'm going to add my potatoes. Now you do not have to um, cook your potatoes like this. You could just add them to your soup. But I like to get a little bit of crust on the potatoes and the onion and celery. We'll add that in there. This is cooked about two minutes. And the potatoes are actually starting to brown a bit. But I forgot to add salt. So let's add some salt to this. Potatoes really do like salt. And I'm going to go ahead and put the bay leaf in as well. And continue to cook. I'm going to turn the heat down a little bit. I don't want the butter to burn. This is cooked about 10 minutes. And I'm going to go ahead and turn the heat off. And just let it sit here and cool down. I, um, I'm do I don't mean to cook the potatoes all the way or anything, but I do want to get everything, like the onions and the celery, fairly soft. For our spetzel part of the soup, I have my two eggs here. I'm going to mix them up a bit. Go ahead and add a fourth a cup of milk. One fourth a teaspoon quarter teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of the uh, parsley flakes. You know, you don't have to add that, but I like to. And then our one cup of flour. And mix this up. You can mix this up while the potatoes and the onions are cooking. I transferred the onions, potatoes to a pot. I'm going to add four cups of chicken broth. You see, it's still a little bit frozen. Well, it's simmered like that for about five minutes. I'm going to add some pepper because I forgot. And it's a fourth a teaspoon of white pepper. You can use black pepper. A fourth a teaspoon of the dill. I should stir that in. Okay. And now we're going to add our spitzel. Now, if you don't have one of these, which I know most of you don't, you can just use a spoon and spoon in little spoonfuls of this into your soup. Get that in there. I know I'm taking forever. And just uh, move this across. See, they're dropping down, sort of, into the soup there. I think I'll just take that off. And go like this. This will be fine. Works even better this way. So I'll get the rest of these in there and cook it. Let it simmer at least five minutes. I'll test it in five minutes. 
to see if the spetzel are done. It simmered away for about seven or eight minutes. I'm going to add a, a, a cup of cream for richness. As you see, this is a, it doesn't make a whole lot of soup. So it's nice to make a smaller batch to see if you really like it. And it's ready, ready to serve. We'll serve some up. Mmm. Mmm. It's hot. And it's good. It's really good. This will warm your belly. I tell you, it's so cold outside and snowy. And this really, really hits the spot. Thank you so much for watching.